Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix the JavaScript error in Discord. Keep watching to find out how. Okay, sorry for the intro, but obviously you want to get this over and done with and you want your Discord up and running, as do I. So let's show you how to go about doing it. Let's go straight over to the computer and we'll fix it now. Okay, so in this one, we're going to show you how to fix the Discord error. So this is when you get a JavaScript error come up on Discord on Windows Startup. It's uh, relatively straightforward to fix, but there's a few things you may have to go through to actually get it to work. Now, the first one is to make sure that Discord isn't running. So go to your taskbar down at the bottom here and make sure that the Discord icon is not there. Also, what you can do is uh, do Alt Control Delete Task Manager, and what you want to do is go through and just make sure that Discord is not running as an app or as in the background service. So yeah, we got it there. So we're going to end task on that one, end task on that one, end task, and yeah, basically get rid of all of the instances of Discord. Make sure that Discord is not running at all. Next thing you want to do is to go down to the start or search bar and just type run and then run, run the run app. And in here, as it says, you can see already, it says uh, percent local app data percent. So click OK and this will take you to your local app data folder. So scroll through here until you see the Discord one and there's the folder. So select it, then right click and then choose delete. And then that should delete. If it doesn't delete, it means Discord is still running in the background. You'll probably get an error message come up saying that Discord is still running or this file is in use, etc. So if that's the case, just go back to your task manager and make sure you've got the program shut down. So that's that one done. We're all good there. So now what we can do is we can type in run again and open up the run dialog box. And this time we just want app data. So what we're going to do is remove where it says local and just choose app data and hit OK and we should find that there is a Discord folder here as well. So what we'll do is right click, sorry, left click, and so it's highlighted, then right click and then choose delete. And this may take a little while if there's a lot of data in there. So that's it, that's your folders got rid of. So now you can close down all your windows. And if we go to find Discord again, so we'll type in DIS for Discord, open up Discord, and it'll say that it's not there anymore. So update is gone. Do you want to delete a shortcut? Blah, blah, blah. So that's all gone. So now what we can do is get Discord again. So just go to discord.com and choose download for Windows. And you can choose to where you want to download it. I'm going to download it to the desktop. You probably could actually just go through and just reinstall Discord, just uninstall it and reinstall it. But it doesn't always get rid of the temporary data, which is actually in your profile or in the system. So this is a cleaner way of doing it for sure. There we go. That's done. So we can choose open. And this should start the installer. It's installing the updates. This is because we've already got it installed, so it's going through kind of half of it. So it should uh, detect your Discord account if you've got it in your default, from your default browser, that kind of stuff. And choose yes, log me in. And you can get to that in the app quite easily. So there we go. We're, uh, we're all up and running. So now if we shut the PC down and open it back up again, we shouldn't have any issues and no more errors on the screen. Okay, so there we go. There is a uh, reasonably straightforward way of getting rid of the JavaScript error on the startup of Discord. So don't forget guys, if you've enjoyed this video and it's been helpful to you, smash the like button and don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section saying if it helped you or if it didn't help you or if you need more help, then feel free to reach out to us actually on Discord if you can get it open, which uh, ironically you probably won't be able to. But anyway, let me know in the comment section below. Send me an email, mike at mikesunboxing.com if you've got any issues. But otherwise, uh, we'll catch you in the next video. So I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. And hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.